In today's lesson, we're exploring even more complex area models. Notice in our first problem here, we have 273 times 346. Now an area model is going to be quite large on this one. So let's begin here. So I start with creating a rectangle or a square. And I notice that I'm going to break each of these into three parts. So um, let's start doing that here. And all right, so my 273, which means I have 200, I have a 70, and I have a 3. And up top, for this guy over here, I'm going to put my 300 here, a 40 over here, and a 6 right here. And now I start multiplying. So my 3 times my 300 gives me 900. Going down, my 3 times my 7 gives me a 21 with three more place values. And down below here, I have a 3 times a 2, or a 2 times 3, which gives me 6, with 4 place values, or 60,000. Put some commas in. Moving across, I have a 4 times 3 gives me a 12, with 1 place value. Going down, I have a 7 times 4, gives me a 28, with 2 place values. Going down, I have a 2 times 4, gives me an 8, with 3 place values, 8,000, 2,800. And I have an 18 in here, and I have a 420 in here, and I have a 1,200 right there. Now, it looks to me like I'm going to have what we call partial products here. I have three partial products going across. Adding things up, uh, let's see, 900 plus 120 plus 18 gives me 1,038. My next one, I have 21,000 plus 2,800 plus 420. That gives me 24,220. 24,220. Now, if you can add these in your head, terrific. Me, I'm cheating. I have this written out on the side. Uh, 60,000, 8,000 plus 1,200 gives me 69,200. Oh, we add everything down. So if you add everything down here, let's say I have an 8 plus a couple of zeros. That remains an 8. I have a 5 here. I have a 4 here. Let's put that comma in. And looks like I have a 14 here, and I'll carry a 1 right there. And let me see, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so 94,456. Now for the standard algorithm, doesn't look like I left much space here. Let me see if I can make my pen a little bit smaller. Here we go. Uh, let me see, 6 times 3 gives me 18, and 6 times 7 gives me 42, plus 1 gives me 43, and my 6 times 2 gives me 12, 12 plus 4 gives me 16, so I'm done here, I'm done here, I'm done here, I'm done here, and now I'll start with my next guy here, my 4, 4 times 3 gives me 12, and 4 times 7 gives me 28, plus 1, 29. And 4 times 2 gives me 8, plus 2, 9, 10. And now I'm done with both the 1s and the 10s, so I'm going to get rid of all of these guys. And now I'll start with my final 3 here. So 3 times 3 gives me 9. 3 times 7 gives me 21. So I'll put my 2 over there. And my 3 times 2 gives me 6, plus 2 gives me 8. Add it all up. I have an 8 here. I have a 5 here. So far, so good. I have an, uh, let's see, an 18, 18 plus 6, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That gives me a 24 right there. 2, 3, 4 right there. And then 8 plus 1 gives me 9. There they are. Okay. All right. They match. Pretty good. Uh, now for the next one, real quick, I'll set this up, but I won't solve this. I'll leave this one to you guys. But the next one's interesting because... Just taking a look at the area model, I notice I have a zero here, um, which is nice because I'm actually going to switch these around. I'm going to use the commutative property, and I'm going to look at it like this. And I'm going to put my 273 up top here, my 200 here, my 70, and my 3. The reason why, I only want two levels going across here. I only want two partial products. Going across, that zero is very helpful because I, it's not holding any value. So uh, multiplying using the zero isn't going to add anything to my final product. So I'm going to ignore it, essentially. That three 
right here is really 300. So I'm going to use the 300 and I'm going to use the 6 right there. Once again, not using that 0 in the tens place. There's really no purpose for it. If I was to put it in, hypothetically, it would be, well, 0. And anything inside would then be 0, and my partial product would be 0. So there's really no point in putting that in at all. Um, all right, so then you put in your box, you fill in your boxes, add things up, and you're good to go. Once again, not even bothering with that partial product at all. I'm going to just use that 300, and I'll be good to go. Okay, that's it, folks. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.